For this next step by step, we're also going to be doing another Halloween design. And this one, we're going to be using our metallic charm pieces. And I'm going to be using this cute little witch. I really like her because she has a lot of detail. Um, very crisp little design. It's something if you were trying to hand paint would take you quite a bit of time. I've already pre-pressed it in my little heart-shaped press. That gives it the curvature so it will fit nice and smoothly to the nail. The first thing I did was I put one coat of white base down onto the nail. This is to give me a nice clean background. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a, a fade effect in the background. And I'm going to start off with an orange polish. This could be gel polish, it could be traditional polish, it really doesn't matter which one you're using. If you are using gel polish, you need to cure it in between each layer. So then what I'm doing is I'm going to place my yellow down. Okay. And then I'm going to create this ombre onto the nail. I'm going to place it and just kind of roll it across the nail and then blot it. By blotting it, you're going to cause the two colors to blend together in the middle, creating a really nice effect. And this is called an ombre. And we're going to let that set up just a little bit. If you happen to get any onto the skin, I just take a little brush and I can a little bit of acetone and come right in and clean that off of the skin. Give it just a few minutes or so as you go down the line and do all 10 nails. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to repeat the process one more time. You might need to re-wet your sponge with a polish. Putting just a little bit more onto my sponge. And then just gently touching the nail. Bouncing the sponge a little bit onto the skin. That will blend the line so that you don't get a totally crisp line there. Gives you a nice fade from one color into the next. Next, I'm going to take my black polish. And again, you can either use gel polish if you like. And I'm putting a little bit onto a plate. And I'm just taking a straight little brush and I'm going to come in and I'm going to start creating some little lines onto the nail. Now, I don't want these to be perfect in symmetry. I'm going to do them very random. And I'm just going to work back and forth across the nail. You could also use a striping paint if that's what you like working with. There's a lot of different options, but this is a nice quick little design. Then I'm just going to come in, I'm going to put some little side lines in there, creating these crossbars and creating a broken down little fence. Very rickety looking, so we don't want it to be totally clean. All right, we're just going to give that paint a little bit of time to dry. So if you want to add just a little bit of extra bling to it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clear and just in the skyline area here, I'm just going to add a little bit of extra at the top. And then I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to dip it into a yellowish glitter. I'm just going to apply a little bit into the background. And while my top coat is still wet, I'm going to pick up my little witch I'm going to place her right on top and I'm just going to press her into the nail. Now we're going to let that dry for just a few seconds. And at this point I would just be working on down the line, working on the other nails. After it's had a few moments to dry, make sure that the glitter is pressed in. I'm going to come in with my top coat. seal it all in together. And again, if you're using gel, you would just simply take your clear gel, put it on, and then they would go into the lamp and you would cure them for the time required for your gel. Or you can just polish secure the charm using 
clear top coat. It's another neat little Halloween design. Everything you need is in the kit for this design. Quick, easy, looks like you might have hand painted the whole thing. However, the little witch was just an instant application, saving you a lot of time. In order to complete this Halloween design, the items that we used were the metallic pre-cut shapes, which are the witch. We used white for our background, white polish, or again, you can use a white gel polish. We did, on the sponge, we did an ombre with the yellow and the orange to create the sunset in the background. Using our artisan brush, detail brush, we created the fencing in the background. Added a little bit of the yellow glitter and the top coat. I needed a pair of tweezers to pick up my charm and place it. I used the brush to sprinkle on the glitter. And all of the items that you need to create this fun, simple design in the salon are included in the kit.